Hello everyone, welcome again to the channel. Today I want to talk to you about this um, situation between Lithuania and Russia and it is concerning the um, exclave, the Russian exclave of Kaliningrad. So what happened was that um, Lithuania's president um, decided to impose uh, some sanctions so is blocking some goods from being delivered to Kaliningrad via railroad and it is not a complete blockade so according to um, international law this could be interpreted as partial blockade so anyway blockades are seen as um, aggressive measurement uh, and there are several ways that Russia can interpret this but it's necessarily something that is very aggressive so let's uh, read a little bit about this um, Lithuania has decided to block the transit of sanctioned goods to Kaliningrad the Russian enclave sandwiched in between Lithuania and Poland and so what happened is here you see the map this is Kaliningrad it's a small exclave here and it's exactly between Poland and Lithuania so as far as I know the railroad goes from Russia to Belarus and then from Belarus goes to Kaliningrad through Lithuania so that's the only country that is involved in the transit and of course there are some goods that are uh, you know transported by sea to Kaliningrad so even if uh, the um, partial blockade is enforced um, there are still ways in which uh, Russia can supply the enclave the exclave sorry but um, oh, this is of course something that they don't they don't like and uh, let's take a look at here so Lithuanian president Gitanas Nauseda said that uh, the country is ready for unfriendly steps such as Russia cutting the Baltic nation from a shared power grid but doesn't expect a military response and he continues to say Lithuania has installed a power link between Poland and Lithuania that can connect the country to the EU power grid if the Russian supply is suddenly cut off. I do not believe that Russia will challenge us in military sense because we are a NATO member. And Russian foreign ministry said that the EU and Lithuania have been notified of the objections to the embargo in Kaliningrad and they say any retaliation will be practical and will go beyond diplomatic measures so a few other things um, is that probably about 50 percent of all the goods that are sent to the region are sent by rail so it is significant the impact but let's uh, take a look at some some of the relevant information so this is the article from TASS where Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zaharova said the steps taken should be overturned referring to the blockade or to the ban however they want to call it and the situation put back on the legal legitimate track if this fails to be done then of course retaliatory moves will be inevitable they will be practical, independent on whether Lithuania will agree to lift the ban on transit. The Russian foreign ministry said that it considered Lithuania's actions as, as openly hostile. And this is coming from the EU. They say, Joseph Borrell said that there was no blockade of Kaliningrad because the transit of passengers and goods continued so this is the definition of a partial blockade so it is still a blockade even if they want to kind of stay away from the blockade uh, terminology 
because under international law, blockade is a casus belli. It means uh, considered a, like a military action or a provocation that is valid for war under international law. So they want to stay away from that definition, but is either anyway is at least a partial blockade, if not a full blockade. And uh, what uh, called my attention is this thing that um, they say that um, it doesn't expect a military response. I do not believe that Russia will challenge us military sense because we're a NATO member. So let's take a look at what NATO says. This is coming from the um, NATO website. So they say, Article 1, they say that the parties should try to settle any international dispute in which they may be involved by peaceful means in such a manner that international peace and security and justice are not in danger and to refrain in their international relations from the threat or use of force in any manner. Okay, so number one, it is uh, being violated already by Lithuania because uh, they are not trying to sell international dispute by peaceful means. This is aggressive behavior. This is illegal uh, because there are treaties uh, against, against this particular issue. So they are violating different treaties and this is considered an hostile action. And number two, they say they will seek to eliminate conflict in their international economic policies and will encourage economic collaboration between any of them. So again, they are not seeking to eliminate conflict, they are actually instigating conflict. So they are violating Article 2, Article 1, and then Article 4. The party will consult whenever, in the opinion of any of them, the territorial integrity, political independence, or security of the parties is threatened. So this is uh, meaning that basically they will confer with each other and try to decide uh, what course of action to take. And this is the Article 5, which basically says that each of them, in exercise of the right of indivi or individual or collective self-defense, will assist so this is the key part here, they will assist the party or parties so attacked with such actions as it deems necessary, including the arm of armed for the use of armed force. So what this means is, uh, in other words, that uh, war is not guaranteed, even if one of the parties is attacked it is not guaranteed that, number one, all of them will assist. It's not guaranteed that all of them will uh, enter into military actions against the other party. And it is not guaranteed that any of them will actually do it. It is expected that some of them will do it, but probably they will decide what assistance for them means. So in this part, when they say they will assist, with such action as it deems necessary. So it is open, open ended. It's not uh, guaranteed that this will be done. And I think um, such an organization uh, will try to prevent the weaker member from dragging everyone into a larger conflict for no good reason, which is the case of what Lithuania is doing currently. And as far as retaliation, well, um, the imports from Russia are considerable, including, of course, crude oil, natural gas, uh, energy in general. So they import a significant amount of energy. And you can see here all the products they import from from Russia, so it is a whole lot of things. They basically can, probably they can uh, source all of these or most of these imports from another party, from another country, but the reason why they buy them from Russia is because it's cost effective. So if Russia decides to impose an embargo, and 
all trades with uh, Lithuania, including energy, including oil, including gas, and all all commodities. Uh, this will definitely be very very heavy for the Lithuanian economy. Lithuania is a very small country; uh, is uh, completely depending on imports. So this will be definitely something that they will feel in a negative way. The impact will be very negative. And besides, this uh, serves no reason, political or in any other way. But anyway, that's my opinion. I don't think they will be prepared, as they say. They might be prepared for some kind of a way out, but uh, definitely will will feel the pain of the of the retaliation from Russia. And at this point in particular, I don't see the need for Russia to retaliate militarily. I don't think it's necessary, but uh, it's definitely something that is uh, has the possibility of escalation. So let's see how, how this ends. So let me know what you guys think. And as always, I ask you to please like the video, share it in social media, subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you again very soon. Thank you for watching.